scientists have found out that our human brain capacity is 2.5 petabyte, which means 2,500 terabyte. But what is the difference between world champions and us? The thing is, their brain is well organized. They have trained their brain for their skill over years, 10 years, 15 years. I ask you a question. Let's suppose you want to buy something on Amazon, and you think that, oh, I need to buy this now, otherwise I cannot, because somebody will, otherwise it will go out of the stock. Then you start searching your credit card, and then you say, okay, uh, I can't find it, because you're not organized. So you have, to be, you have to organize yourself, you have to organize your brain, you have to organize your data so that inside your brain so that you can retrieve. The difference between these world champions is they retrieve the information that they have in their brain in sub-second, in just one second. So when Roger Federer is playing, he, he doesn't have time, one or two seconds, to think how he has to play. He, he has something called uh, muscle memory, which he has created over years. So now, uh, today, I want to show you a method by which you can make your brain similar to computer, wherein you can uh, memorize, you can achieve whatever you want. And uh, to do that, I have memorized a 500-digit number. So now what you have to do is, first, you will ask me questions, like go from 50 to 100 or 250 to 300 or something like that. Right here, right now in front of you, I will uh, first, I will try, let's see how it goes. So I will try to uh, recite from a memory numbers which you will ask me, and then I will explain you the method, how I did it, and then I will make you do it in 100% so that you will know and you will agree with me, yes, we can do that, it's very easy. Then you will know how your brain works. Um, so this, this is... 100, 200, you can say this is uh, 3, 3, 4, and 5. This is wrong. It should be 3, 4, and 5. This is the th 300, 400, and 500. So this is 200, then the right one is 300, and then 4 and 500. So how you want me to go? You want to go from first to last, or from how you want to go? And anyone from the audience can stand and ask me, and then I will try, and, I will let we, and we can see live how you can zoom it and see. So anyone, uh, any person, youngest person maybe? Okay. Okay, you want me to go from number 230? Okay, okay. So just give me one second. 200, 230. Okay, just bear with me. Just bear with me one more minute, that's it. So once I start, it's good. Okay, just I'm starting. I'm just reaching there. Just give me one second. Just give me one second. So 230, you said. 230, you said. Okay. Just give me a few seconds. I'm already there. It requires a lot of focus and concentration. So I'm already there. So seven and eight. Okay, it's eight. How would I can? And once I start. <clears throat> okay, I'm there. Okay. So. It's uh, the 200 digit, uh, 230 digit is, uh, give me one second. Um, okay. Five, uh, one second, 30, okay. So it's 230 I'm starting. So it's uh, 29, 30, 29, 30, 29, 30, 20, um, 12, Nice. 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 Nice.
Jeez. Oh, one second. Thirty. Okay. Okay. Twenty-nine. Twenty. Okay. So I start from uh, two hundred. Okay. I start from twenty-nine. Okay. So twenty-nine is. So the twenty-nine. Two hundred twenty-nine digit is. Eight, and then it's one, and then it's five, and then it's nine, eighty-one, three, then uh, six. It's there. Just one second. It's there. Uh, it's uh, then it's um, uh, two nine, and then it's uh, seventy-seven. Okay. So this is ten, and um, <coughs> okay. Here we go. That's a. Uh, Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, one moment. So I'm 10, and then it's 11. Uh, requires a lot of focus and concentration. Just hold that. Just please bear with me. And, um, um, okay. So 11 is. Okay, yeah, I got it. Four, seven. Yeah, four, seven. Then it's 71. Mm, three zero, and then it's uh, three zero. After three zero, it's ninety nine, and then it's six zero fifty one, and then uh, mm, thirteen, and then it's uh, fourteen. So then it's uh, eight seven. Z uh, then it's zero and seven, and then. Uh, Okay, so we are at uh, 14, and then it's 21, and then it's 1, 3. So, have I made any mistakes till now? No. Okay, so, yeah, just bear with me. It requires a very different kind of concentration, and so uh, just bear with me, 15. And then, uh, one second, 16. Uh, 15 is there. Uh, 15, uh, 15 is, uh, one six. 15 is, okay, I'm 16. Okay, let's okay, just show. Uh, 16. Okay, so I got it again. So then it's uh, 49, then 99. Okay, then it's 99, and then it's uh, 98. Okay, 98. And um, okay, so that's uh, uh, 17. And then it's okay, and then it's uh, 3, 7, and then uh, after three seven, and then uh, it's twenty nine. So we are at right now. We are at stage eighteen. Okay, and then uh, after that it's uh, or um, students. Okay, then it's uh, eight. No, sorry, seven, uh, seven, eight zero four. Do you want me to keep going? <laughs> okay. Sorry. So, uh, so the thing is, uh, it takes time when, because when you are in front of people, and it requires a very different kind of concentration at a different level. So now I will tell you how I did it, and then I will show you by using this method, you can become champion at any field you want. It doesn't matter what field it is. And people have used this technique to, uh, to win world, ma world championships. Because you will agree with me that all the people who are, uh, who, are, uh, who are champion in their field, irrespective of what field it is, music, sports, music, uh, any field, they retrieve the data very fast. They don't see the computer. When you ask them questions, they just tell you what, what answer it is. And it, it creates a different kind of impact. And I, used, I, I have chosen this. Uh, 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 digits, not any words or anything, because this is the most complicated thing you can ever memorize, because it confuses your brain, it, there's repetition, and numbers is something which doesn't make sense, it's abstract. I can use words or anything, it could be very easy, but with numbers, it's, it's very, very difficult. You, and the thing is, I can feel inside my brain a spark, I can see how the neurons are moving, I can see, the thing is, I believe if you see inside your brain, if you see inside your brain where you have kept the data, that's the, then you can remember it. If you can't, you'll forget about it. This is the thing. That there are two ways to remember anything in this world. 
either you, uh, you read it and then you try to write it to see whether you have written it correctly, or you speak about it and practice again and again. But you cannot use these methods to master anything, which I've just showed you. You have to use a different kind of technique. You will now see that it's so easy and so simple uh, that you will say, oh, oh my god, how it can be so simple, and uh, I, I never knew about this. So now I will explain you how you can do that. So uh, the first thing is, as I told you before, that if in your mind, if you don't know where the, the things are, you will forget. So the first thing you have to do is, is you have to create virtual memories. Virtual memories, like in computers, you can create virtual memories by using different methods. Either uh, you can use a video games. So you go to a video game. Uh, it's very unique. The f you go to the first stage, the second, third, and whatever. You and what you do is you go to office every day from your home. So you see, you use a diff same path every day. And what you can do is and everything remains the same. So you walk in that path, and you say, the first bus stop is my first memory cell, and I can put any data I want, and I can remember it. That will done through your imagination. Your creativity will work at, at that thing. So to remember this, what I did, I, you have seen that I remember in four digits. I don't remember in one, one, one. So what I did is for this um, Five one digit number. I, I I love movies. I love watching movies. And we need to understand that you can only become you can only excel at anything in this world when you enjoy. If you don't enjoy, if you're not enjoying what you're doing, you cannot be a champion at that thing. All the people who are champion, they enjoy. It's the the motivation behind uh, their uh, success is not the money. Is that they enjoy? It's fun. It's just like when you're hearing music, you like to dance. It's just the same thing. So if you're doing, if you're in a particular field, and you feel that, and you're not, you're, you're not, not doing very well, that means you're not made for that field. You have to choose the field which is good, and or make it, or you work on it and make it better for you. So now what I will do is, uh, I will teach you how I did it so that you understand how I did it. So today. I will make you memorize a 20-digit number in sequence. That means I will help you to memorize a 20, uh, what do you say? You will create memory cells in your brain, and you will see those 20 digits number. 20 digits can be anything. It can be, um, it can be words, formula, anything. Data it doesn't matter, because data, you can, you can encrypt the data. You can encode the data based on your experience, how creative you are. So, so you, would you like to do that? Would you like to see how it works? Would you like to, uh, would you like to do that now? Yes. Okay. So let's. Uh, there are a few things which you need to understand. So every day you go to your uh, office or college or university. Am I right? Okay. So let's suppose. Let's suppose. Uh, uh, what I want you to do is. Uh, can you please close your eyes now? OK, so now you have closed your eyes. Now I want you to uh, walk from your house to your uh, office or university. And what you have to do is at the you, you reach at the first place where you think it becomes your first bus stop or first position where you can stabilize and see yourself. So you see that first position. Maybe it's a road, there's some petrol pump or restaurant, whatever. So you, that's your first position. And nothing, you don't see anything. You just see right, left. You can touch things, whatever it is, and feel it in your, in your brain. OK. You feel it, that you are, you are at that position. It can be anything. Then you go to the second one, and you, th you see right, left, and you can, you can focus on any object or anything which you think that you, it can, you can fix something to that. It can be a door. It can be a bus stop. It can be anything. So that's your second position. And then you go to the third position. And then you, uh, you see yourself stationary, moving, touching, and everything. That becomes your third. And then you go to the fourth one. It can be fourth bus stop, I would say, or uh, train station or anything. I think it would be bus stop. It's good so that you can. There should be a distinction between the first, second, third, and fourth, so that you know you are at the first, second, third, or fourth position. Then you are at the fifth position, and then it's fine. You, so can you 
see all the five positions in your brain? Can you see you walk and can you see those things? Okay, that's great. Don't, don't open your eyes. Okay, so now imagine at first place, Hulk Hogan is there. You know, I think Hulk Hogan, most of the people will be knowing he is a wrestler, though he's not a famous one. But uh, imagine Hulk Hogan is, uh, is, uh, is in a ring. There's a, there's a wrestling, ring, wrestling ring. And um, he, is, uh, he is fighting with Barack Obama. Okay, so he is uh, punching him and he's breaking his teeth. And then he is, uh, whatever, it's just, it's just an example. Uh, don't quote me on that. It's just that you need to be more creative. Okay, you need to be creative. So, or, uh, yeah, so do one thing. When you're at the first position, you draw a line in the between. So the left, uh, Hulk Hogan is standing. On the right side, Barack Obama is standing. Don't mix it. Okay, just keep them stationary for the time being. That's good. Then go to the second position, and then imagine that uh, left-hand side. Divide, the, divide that particular thing into... Um, a left and right. So the left is, imagine that Nicolas Cage is there. I think most people will know that Nicolas Cage is there. And then uh, imagine that Nicolas Cage is um, doing fishing. Okay, he is uh, fishing, he, is, he has just caught a very big fish, and then it's so big that uh, that fish is trying to eat uh, his arms. Okay, that's the second thing. And yeah, you have to be creative, that's, that's your mind. You have to be absurd, you have to be creative. Okay, and then you go to the third position, you imagine Albert Einstein is there, and uh, Albert Einstein is, uh, is, is enjoying, he's getting a lot of money from the, from the heaven, he's enjoying, he's seeing a lot of dollars which are flowing, and it's so, uh, there are so much that he is, uh, he's covered in those dollars, all right? And then, uh, uh, then you go to the, uh, Another position uh, wherein you will imagine that Bill Clinton is there and Bill Clinton is talking to uh, Adolf Hitler, all right? And he is, uh, he is uh, and with Bill Clinton, there is another auxiliary memory, helping memory, which is called Monica Lewinsky is there standing, right? Uh, it's, it helps you to link the person, okay? And then the last one, imagine that uh, Drew Barrymore is uh, that position and Drew Mary Moore is playing tennis with Roger Federer. Okay, so I think if you, if you repeat this thing, can you repeat and see people in those journey? Can you see at first position who is there? Can you tell me uh, what is, who is at the second position? And who is at the third? And at the fourth? Okay, that's good, that's good, okay. So now I want to tell you, you have just memorized a 20 digit number in sequence, out of sequence, the way you want. I encoded this data in all, all the data that you see here in with people. So the first is Hulk Hogan. Hulk means, Hulk Hogan means 88. Okay, Hulk Hogan means two times, it's 88. For me, eight means H. Many people will say, okay, because you, if you cut the hat in uh, horizontal, then it'd be eight. Just, just think for the moment that it's eight. For Barack Obama, it's two zero. Why? Because two comes at second position, O sounds like zero. So 88, two zero. This is the four digit number that you just memorized. And then after that, uh, you, Nicolas Cage is there. So Nicolas Cage's N sounds like nine. So N is nine. And Cage means C, means three. It's a third position. So it's Nicolas Cage, uh, 93 and he is doing uh, fishing. Imagine that um, George Bush is doing the fishing. Okay, so 72, you can say that George Bush is fishing, or you can include him in that, because he does the fishing. So you remember, now you remember eight digit, and then you go to the Albert Einstein. So Albert Einstein, for me, is 15, because one is uh, Albert, E means five, because it's five, five position, and then it's dollars are flowing, imagine, uh, Bill Gates, dollar representing a data called Bill Gates. He is rich, so he's giving him money. So Bill Gates is uh, two seven, okay. And then uh, you go to Bill Clinton, and then Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton means uh, two and three because Bill is two and Clinton is three. And then Adolf Hitler is one and eight is H. And the last one is Drew Barrymore. 
do you very much D means uh, a four and B means two. And then she is playing tennis with Novak Djokovic, which is 94. N stands for nine and D stands for four. So right, just right now, you have memorized a 20 digit number in sequence and you will never forget in your life. If you, you don't even have to repeat it. And you, you can use this technique. You can make as many journeys as you want. It doesn't matter. 1,000, 2,000, 5,000, 10,000, it doesn't matter. And you can encode the data as per your convenience. Atom will mean something to you than me because your experience is different than me. And um, so I hope you remember everything now, all the 20 digits in sequence. If anybody is asking you what is at the fourth position, you can just walk in there and you can see what is there and you remember it. You remember because you can see. And if you can't see, you will forget. That's the simple. So I want to end this, uh, my conversation here, and hopefully you have enjoyed it.